Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. Today's video is going to be a part two to a video we did before where we can click on a part to equip it. In this video we're going to do something similar where we can click on this part in the background to pick it up. But this time instead of removing the part it's going to stay in the background so other players can pick it up as well. Alright let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. Okay, so for this project, we need to add a part into the game, and you can do that by clicking on the blue cube up here. After that, go ahead and find your part in the Explore menu and click on the plus sign. The first thing we're going to be adding is a click detector, so that we can register clicks on this part here. And after that, we're going to be adding a script. Inside the script here, we're going to start by saying local part is equal to script.parent. After that, we're going to say local click is equal to part dot click detector so here we created a reference for the part and then after that we're looking under the part to reference the click detector after that we're going to be making a function that will run whenever the part is clicked to do that we're going to start by saying local function the name of our function will be pickup inside the parentheses we're going to put player which is a parameter that gets passed to it whenever the part is clicked and this parameter stores whatever player clicks on the part. Inside the function, we're going to say local new tool. And this is going to be equal to instance.new. We're going to be creating a new tool, so we'll put tool inside the parentheses. Then we're going to say new tool dot name. And you can set this to whatever you want to. Then I'm going to say local handle is going to be equal to part colon clone. So this is going to take our part right over here and make a copy of it. And what we're going to do with that copy is we're going to say handle dot name and we're going to set this equal to handle with a capital H. Then we're going to say handle dot parent is going to be equal to new tool. So we're taking the copy of the part and inserting it inside of the tool that we created up here. Then we're going to get rid of the script that's stored inside of the part by saying handle dot script colon destroy. So when we make a copy of that part here, we don't need the script anymore, so we're just going to get rid of it by saying colon destroy. Finally, we'll say new tool dot parent, and that's going to be equal to game dot workspace colon find first child. Inside the parentheses, we're going to put player dot name. So what this is doing, it's taking the player object that gets passed to it through the click event. So whenever a player clicks on the object, it gets stored right here. And then we're taking a look at that object's name and trying to find it in the workspace. Finally, we just need to connect this function to the click event by saying click dot mouse click colon connect and then the name of the function. All right, so let's go ahead and check it out and make sure we didn't make any mistakes. All right, let's go ahead and try it out by clicking on the part. And we can see whenever the player clicks on the part, it gives it to the player as a tool. And you can see that by looking under workspace, under the player model, and then you can see the tool right here. And you can do this for different objects in the game by just making a copy of the part that we just created. So now if I click on this part, I get a brick. I can click on the green ball to get that one. And then I can also click on the blue cylinder to pick up that part. And finally, before we end with this video, I'll show you how you can prevent the user from getting multiple copies of the same thing. And we can do that by adding a couple lines to our script. The first thing we're going to add is this line right here. So we're creating a variable for the player model by looking under game.workspace and then using the player's name. Then once we have the player model, we're going to be checking that player model to see if they have a tool called brick. And we also need to check in the player's backpack, which we can do by referencing the player their backpack and seeing if they have that tool called brick. And we define the name of our tool right here, so if this is different, then update the spots right here and right here as well. So this is for the brick tool, which is this one right here. And then if you add another item, the script is almost exactly the same, but this time the tool's name is ball, so instead of looking for a brick, I'm looking for a ball in the player's hand and also the player's backpack. So let's go and check out the script now. So my player can still pick up each part, 
But now if I go back and try to pick up another brick or another ball, it won't let me. So what you can do with this is you can have the players do something with those parts, and then once they get rid of them somehow, then they can come back to get new ones. Alright, so this is going to be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for the next one.